All right, good day everyone. Uh, today I'm actually starting a video to uh, review on some of the insurance uh, medical plan available by the insurance company. So today I'll start with the Allianz MediSafe Infinite. All right, so this is actually the company brochure that I've downloaded. All right, so let's straight uh, go to, to, to see the uh, medical plan benefit. All right, so as we can see over here, there are actually six, oh, sorry, seven plans available, all right, which is actually from plan 150 all the way to 500. This indicates the uh, room and board. So if let's say you have selected for a room uh, plan 150, the room and board will be 150 over here, all right. So uh, the annual limit itself uh, has a few range from 850,000 all the way to 2.5 million and there is no lifetime limit the deductible options uh, comprises of a uh, few which is zero deductible a uh, five thousand ten thousand or thirty thousand uh, per policy year deductible and there's also an, an option for retirement option at age 60. so what this uh, retirement option age 60 means is that uh, if you have opted for some kind of deductible for example thirty thousand so Throughout your period of, uh, at this moment, let's say you have uh, applied for this policy at the age of uh, 40 years old and uh, you have opted with a 30,000 deductible, but because you have a uh, company insurance that covers uh, more than 30,000 itself, so the first 30,000 will be claimable with your group insurance and subsequently the balance is actually covered by uh, your Allianz Medical Card. So you may think that what happens at the age, uh, at the time of age sixty, where you know you're you're maybe retired, uh, you're no longer with working with your company, your company is no longer providing you with, with the uh, medical insurance. Uh, with this option itself, you are basically able to revert to a zero deductible, without having to go through a medical underwriting again with Allianz itself. So this uh, will give you a, a peace of mind that you know you don't have to worry. Uh, what happens after 60 where maybe your health uh, may not be uh, as good as before but you are not uh, having to worry that uh, you can't apply for a medical insurance without a deductible right so moving uh, along we can see that there is the room and board which covers up to 150 days per one disability the ICU is as charged, the larger benefit, what larger benefit means is that uh, if let's say you have a guardian that uh, needs to take care of you or maybe your parents, so with this medical plan itself, they will get an additional per day income, all right? So the things that are as charged uh, in this list from item number 4 to 15 will be comprised of uh, your hospital supplies and services, surgical fee, anesthesia fees, your operating theatre, uh, in-hospital physician visit, which is uh, two times per visit, your pre-hospitalization, uh, which covers up to 90 days, and your organ transplant, your post-hospitalization, which uh, at the moment it covers the longest, which is 180 days or six months, your home nursing care, your ambulance fee, and your daycare surgery. All right. So another special benefit uh, I can see from this uh, medical plan is the medical report fee reimbursement which is uh, reimbursable up to 200 ringgit per admission so um, I believe not many insurance companies uh, offer this benefit so this is a good uh, benefit that I can see all right moving on to section B which is the outpatient treatment benefit we can see that uh, it provides the emergency accidental outpatient which is uh, up to 30 days, right? It will also include the outpatient kidney dialysis, uh, dengue or eccentric fever, as well as also for cancer treatment, which comprises of your radiotherapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, hormonal therapy, as well as uh, immuno immunotherapy, right? Another thing I can see right now at the moment that only Allianz provides is the genomic test for cancer patient, which is per lifetime. So this is good where they can actually test based on your DNA. And of course, uh, they can actually uh, pay you up to the certain amount depending on your plan. All right. So 
Moving on to section D on the other benefits, uh, we can see that uh, if you do seek for a second medical opinion, they are able to reimburse you up to 2,000 ringgit, which is not bad. Um, there's also a reimbursement for alternative uh, treatment fees. Um, I believe this will be where if you want to seek for your Chinese uh, tita or your acupunctures, uh, you are able to claim on a per day limit up to a maximum per annum. All right. Intraocular lens is as charged, which is a good thing to see because I think the other companies uh, offer it as certain amount per lifetime. All right. Moving on to section E, which is the no claim benefit, we can actually see that uh, if you do not make a claim, they do reward you with a 10% increment in the hospital room and board every three years, uh, not exceeding 150% uh, of the initial rate of room and board. What this means is that uh, if, let's say, earlier, if my room and board is 200 ringgit per day, so with this 10% increment every three years, uh, on a three, third year onwards, my plan, if I do not make any claim, effectively it will be 220 per day instead of 200 originally and not exceeding 150%, meaning to say I cannot exceed more than 300 ringgit of my uh, room and board because it has already uh, kept at 150%. Right? No claim refund. So no claim refund itself uh, basically is something like your car insurance and CBE. So if let's say you have uh, not made a claim for the past one year, you will get 10% off from the cost of insurance of the medical card. On the second year, it will be 15%. The third year, all consecutively, it will be 20%. So on the F uh, section, which is the optional benefit, you can actually add on hospital income per day. So this is a benefit where if you feel that the original a uh, room and board that you have chosen is not enough say for example 200 ringgit a day and you feel that uh, it's not able to cover you uh, to, to stay in a single room for example you can actually uh, look to add on the hospital income over here All right so what do I think overview of uh, this medical plan by Allianz itself uh, I would feel that uh, this medical plan itself is actually pretty comprehensive. Uh, it provides a very long uh, post-hospitalization recovery period, which is up to 180 days. So what this means is that I do not need to worry about uh, my follow-ups because uh, it's quite uh, a lengthy one compared to the other insurance company, which may only cover up to 90 days on post-hospitalization. Um, on top of that, of course, uh, there is a retirement option. So if let's say I'm an employee uh, or I have another uh, insurance medical card, uh, I would like to actually top it up. I can actually opt for this retirement option plan. And also at the same time, I get to pay a lower premium as well compared to a full plan without deductible. Then secondly, of course, uh, there is the outpatient dengue fever treatment where I'm uh, covered as well for dengue as well as the uh, no claim refund where I'm entitled up to 20% off so I believe uh, that's a very good benefit where if I'm a policy holder I do not need to worry about paying the uh, uh, premium and get nothing in return but in this case the uh, alliance actually rewards you back with up to 20% alright so I believe uh, that is uh, the end of the review so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and uh, we will explore together and see uh, how we can actually tackle the questions all right so thank you and have a nice day